In this video, we will consider some of the most common and important type of topologies briefly that are related to the pure mathematics. As in the previous video, we have seen that for a set X, any non empty set X, there was a collection of subsets that is denoted by tau. Then this collection of subsets would form a topology on X if it satisfies the three basic main properties that were discussed in the previous video of the topology. Then tau together with x is known as topological space. This is said to be a topological space. And in this video, we will consider some of the types of topologies. So the very first type that we are going to talk about is discrete topology. That if x is any set, then tau is said to be a discrete topology. If it is of the form of this that is p represent here the power set of x which means that a collection of subset of x that is tau contains all of the possible subset of x it, that is why it is denoted by the power set of x that contain all of the possible subsets of x uh, we can also we can also represent this as y and a subset of x that all of the possible subset of x is in topology tau that topology is said to be a discrete topology the second type of topology is indiscrete topology that if x is any known empty set and tau is the collection of subset and tau is of the form containing the empty set and the set itself if the collection of the subset contains only the empty set and the set itself, then this type of topology is known as indiscrete topology. Now, the third type of topology is cofinite topology, and if X is any set, if any known empty set, then the collection of subset of, of X is of the form that if U is any subset of X, then the subset of x may be an empty set or the complement of that subset of x is finite. This type of collection of subset of x is known as the cofinite topology. This is also known as the finite complement topology. Now the other type of topology is a countable complement topology. And it's I'm not going in the definition of the countable complement topology because for this we have to be aware of the definition of the word countable. So I'm just stated this uh, as it is. And the other type of topology is nested topology. A topology that satisfies the nested property that is of the form of this if u is any subset of x then the collection of subset of the x of the form that phi is a subset of u1 and u1 is a subset of u2 and all the u1 u2 and u3 are all, all the subset of x so a nested topology is a type of topology that satisfies the nested interval property and there is also another example of topology is is k topology so k topology is another type of topology and i'm not going in the definition of k topology because its definition is not so easy to understand so in the next video we will talk about how to verify a collection of subset of x that it form a topology or not so stay tuned goodbye